Hi, I'm Krista with the Big Family Homestead, and today I'm going <laughs> to... Today we have to build a bigger feeder for our meat birds. Okay, I'm going to tell you why these feeders are terrible for chick feed because it holds it up in the top and doesn't allow it to drop. Yeah, the moisture, moisture. These are terrible. It works, okay, time out. It does work great for crumbles, but the chick feed that we have is powdered and it holds it upside up in these things and I'm not going to spend double the amount of money for crumbles as I do for powder. So I've got some rope down here. I secured it with some zip ties. Makes it really strong. And I'll do that on both sides. Take a look at this little guy who's hanging out on top of a pile of chicken junk poop yuckiness. And uh, it's a good thing the chickens don't know you're out here because you would not be here long, my friend. And your camo is not really working. I think you gotta work on those concealment skills. <laughs> okay, so here they are, they're hung. However, they are just barely touching the ground because these chicks are little, as you can see, and uh, they will just be able to just get their head in there to, uh, to eat the food. And then as they get older, we will raise it up so that they're not sitting in it, walking in it, pooping in it. Wasting. We, we want it to be chest high for these birds so that they are able to just dip their head in there and eat this. But. And all in all, in terms of cost, caps, eye bolts, everything, these are about nine bucks a piece. Yep, that's an amazing deal for a feeder. Um, so that's I highly that. recommend it, yeah. They took to it right away. Success. All right, so my concern about this garden, I mean, the weeds are out of control again. Well, yeah, it doesn't take much, but... It, I the, think it's a water issue. It, there is a lot of rain. Um, Everything's and, yellowing. Well, and these, some of these plants are not doing well. These uh, cantaloupe plants are not doing well. Yeah, I think it's honestly because of the wetness. I mean, it, we water. haven't, we haven't... We watered the day we put the plants in and haven't watered since. Yeah. And we've gotten, what, four or five inches of rain? And it's still super wet. Yeah. And it hasn't rained, but... Right. So, and I don't think it's a drainage issue for here because... No, we're on a slope. So yeah. it's not its not a drainage issue. It's not clay. It's not, you know, it's... I think it's the water. Yeah, too Fingers much. crossed. Yeah, I hopefully mean, we get crop There's standing water even, even over there. There's standing water all over the place. Yeah. So, well, fingers crossed. Yeah. Prayers said. Yep. It's cheese cracker shoot off time, and it's on. We here at the Big Family Homestead uh, feel it's a legal obligation living in the state of Wisconsin to give you, the viewer, full and truthful disclosure on what are the best cheese crackers you can buy from Aldi, because if you buy cheese crackers elsewhere, you're probably gonna pay more. So, cheese cracker shoot out time. Yeah, let the silliness begin. You're up, close your eyes, close them. Reach out with the force. Your right hand, right hand, straight ahead of you. Go ahead, grab a few of that, whatever the heck that is. Grab a few of them. Now you're just, don't open your eyes. Okay, now reach into the middle pile. I wonder what those could possibly be. Straight ahead, you're doing good. <laughs> and now taste those. Let, let the flavors swirl around your palate like, like a, a dainty dove in flight. Now reach to the far corner. Come, come on, you can do it. There you go. Straight ahead, little fella. You're doing great. <laughs> now, not that you could ever tell what those are by the shapes that are distinctively <laughs> distinct. Which one's the best? 
that one. Boom. Savoritz cheese baked cracker cheese it copy thingy. You are the victor. All right, new subject. Nana. Such a. <laughs> Nana, what do you think? Let's try these out. These ones here first. See what you think of those. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Daddy, this is a cruel, this is a cruel injustice you are committing on bowing me. <laughs> Go ahead. Nana. <laughs> You've got more choices. <laughs> I'll hold them. I'll hold them and you snatch them. <laughs> Nana, I'll hold them and you. Where'd you, where'd you go? Hey, let's see. These are the cheese at once. Well, she's picking it up. <laughs> oh, she's got slime all over. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. It's okay. <laughs> so, you got two left. They're yours. Why do I feel like I'm kind of <laughs> teaching her a very bad thing right now? <laughs> Nana, you got one left, and then I need to know your opinion. We'll put them over there. I'm just gonna do it before you do. No, Ruthie, please don't eat those. Give those to Nana. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Mama? What? I think that Brad is gonna be in his happy place real soon, because. Look at all this luscious grass. It's not, it's, it's gotta get cut. We gotta figure out what's underneath, what the ruts are. Yeah. And we were waiting for it not to be so wet. And there are a few spots that are wet. A few spots, but not a lot. Most of the field is really dry. But um, can I ask, can I cut too? We'll talk about that later. Oh, come on. Let's cut some hay. Well, that didn't last long. I got basically one row cut and the fan housing blade down in there. Uh, it must have come loose or something because it started sparking and making these horrible sounds and grinding. And, um, well, we're out of business for now. Ah! All right. Yeah, but that thing ain't gonna do it. We're gonna have to get the uh, M down here. Yeah. Well, let's go get it. Part of the problem is since that engine is jacked up, I'm gonna try to turn it on one more time and hopefully we'll just get lucky and I'll be able to at least raise the PTO up because this uh, brush hog here, it's gonna drag the ground the whole way. So I'd like to get the brush hog either up or off. So here's going, here's nothing, nothing doing, whatever. Okay. Get a little fuel. Claire, full on raging beast mode. <laughs> now is there a special knot that you uh, are using for this? The ones that don't come loose, those are the best ones. They're, they're, this is technically what you call a rock star knot because it's the only one that this rock star knows. <laughs> it's the only one that doesn't come loose. Yeah. Bessie. Catch my breath. Claire, <sighs> can you give me a little chalk the wheels? Chalk the wheels. It was really only a matter of time. We made a phone call and we are being uh, helped out and rescued by none other than the dawn. The dawn. Behold, the dawn, the dawn cometh. The dawn man cometh. <laughs> Look at our air traffic controller here. It's just, <laughs> 
exactly. What is going on, he's saying. I don't know. What did I get myself into? <laughs> That's not nice. Somebody's shaking his head at me. Oh, uh, yeah. Just directing him in the right way. You were giving out, you were dishing out sass. Just giving sass? Nah. It's the one with an R on it, Don. <laughs> and Don saves the day again. Again. Once again, Don is the day saver. Thank you, Don. Yes. Your fan club appreciates you. Okay, we'll see you guys later. I, I hope not too soon. <laughs> I'm frustrated too. I, yeah. I... You know, we thought we were going to be able to get some hay, even if it was garbage hay, off that field now. And if we don't buy something new for the M, which we don't have the money for. No, it's... It's frustrating. I get it. Okay, a quick word on what you just saw. Um, we struggle with same things everybody does, you know, farmers with money and, and you know, balancing out your assets and, and what, what you have to work with. And hay, for us, is not cheap, and we need a lot of it. So we have been struggling to try to get... Um, those fields in order, but there are ruts in them. And so most farmers don't want to deal with us, you know, even a parting out of a kind of a, a deal where they get half the hay and we get half the hay because they don't know what's wrong with the fields. They could, they could mess their equipment up. And so we have been in a fight to try to get it to where it needs to be. And so some friends of ours who do this, they said, well, at least knock it down. That way we can see what's there. That'll start the process. Maybe we can get a hay rake, get up under some of that matting, and maybe then we can entice somebody to kind of work through it. But as you saw, we didn't get it real far. Yeah, it's just, and you know, we're not, we're not mechanical. Yet. I like to tinker, but I just, sorry, I'm... <clears throat> Very frustrated. Because it seems like we get going on something and then the rug gets ripped out from under you. Honey. But I guess it's all part of it when you're out here trying to do as much as we're doing to try to be, I mean, you can never be self-sufficient all the way. I don't think so. No, because you can't run tractors without buying fuel unless you make your fuel and then you got to have all this to do that and blow. It just keeps going. It's just a constant cycle. So. But we try to do as much as we can. Right. And um, some days it doesn't go so good. And so with that said, I'm going to tell a joke. You ready? I wish I could tell a joke. I don't know any. I, I know. I know, I know a couple of jokes, but I can't tell those jokes. Dang. <laughs> you do? You know the jokes that I like to tell. It's a knock knock joke. Okay. What? Knock uh, knock. Who's there? I'm in a pile up. I'm in a pile of poo. Some days are better than others, baby. Yes, they are. That's for sure. Here's the reality, though, guys. The truth is, even though we have these days like this, everybody does. Yeah. So the real question is not whether you're gonna have bad days, it's what are you gonna do with them? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably sit back and relax, have a cold drink, yeah. and, and count our blessings. Because our blessings far outweigh of course. our troubles. Of course, and, and please don't misunderstand the tears, it's just... It's frustration. It's just frustration. We did, however, accomplish a couple of things today. Well, the, the, the chick feeders, that was Got cool. the chick feeders done. You cleaned the ATVs. I didn't show them that. You don't need to see no. me washing no, the ATV. No, it's not a big deal. We cleaned up the garage. Got some a errands bit. run. Went and ran some errands. We did. And we got to hang out with Don, so how can that be a bad day? It's a win-win. That's a, that's a good day. Mm -hmm. So anyway, 
Happy face. It's just temporary stuff. It is. It is. With that said, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.